So, your due date is almost here. No sign up, baby. Your due date has come. No sign up, baby. Your due date has passed. Still no sign up, baby. That is exactly what happened to me. And I'm gonna share with you five things I did to try to induce my name. Uh -huh. To try to induce, and I'm a neighbor, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Induce my labor, induce my labor naturally. Share with somebody who is pregnant now, thinking of getting pregnant, and I don't want them to get anxious like I did. I wanted to hit 37 weeks, which is what they call early term, before I started to try to induce labor because I didn't want to risk her coming early. And a lot of these things I found online. Number one, red raspberry leaf tea. I red raspberry or just raspberry? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's red raspberry. Um, right, red raspberry leaf tea. Just like it at about, it could have been 37 plus weeks. Yeah, around. Then I started to drink it. No, they have the tea bags, which I tried to call around to see if I could source the tea bags here in Jamaica. Ended up just calling a health food store and getting the actual leaves and then just steeping them in hot water. I would drink that because they said not only would it help induce labor but it would also help prepare your uterus for you know all that is to come prevent postpartum hemorrhage so i drank great raspberry leaf tea so that was the first thing i did to try to induce labor naturally at the end of the video i'm gonna let you know what i think worked and what did not i can't really i have no evidence that it really worked second thing is i went walking Walking, 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 walking. Um, two types of walking. I went to Emancipation Park here in Jamaica, which for those of you who don't know, it's this big park that has a track going around it. I went, me, my husband, and my daughter, and we just walked around, we just walked around, and trust me, I started to feel some serious Braxton Hicks after I went walking for such a long, and I tried to do like, not over exerting myself but i really was putting in putting in the walk the Braxton hicks really increased after that so i think that certainly helped me along so go walking walk for as long as your body will allow you to walk walk with a little intensity not too much right but you want to get things going especially if you are sedentary and avoid being sedentary in those latter days leading up to, to your due date or whichever part you are once you're ready to get baby out and i need to mention that listen all women except if the baby come really early get to that point i think right where you just ready for the baby to come out i mean i was as big as an elephant i was just super tired of being pregnant and that is why i wanted to use my labor so walk 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 another um specific to the walking is curb walking which is this kind of you're walking but you're going up down up down so you walk you know like sidewalking we call it sidewalking in jamaica right curb into foreign right you you're walking but one foot is on the curb one foot is on the, the, the lower part which is, would be the road right and you're kind of doing this kind of wobbly walk which is chases to encourage the baby to move down into the pelvis another thing i did was if you have staircases, use the staircases. When I was going up the staircase, I would go sideways, right, holding on to the wall, holding on to the rail to support me, and just try to mimic that kind of up, down, up, down um, movement in order to encourage baby to fall into pelvis. So still a part of walking, but move, 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 move. Do not stay seated for too long. If you're tired, sit down. But once you get a little burst of energy, use it to do some amount of walking. I think that certainly, certainly helped. But other than the position thing with the baby, it can certainly help to, you know, get your blood going and, you know, get, get you some stamina in preparation for labor and delivery. The third thing I did, let me check my notes, was this Miles Circuit. I saw it on YouTube, I saw it online, and I did it. It was like 90 minutes of me stress. <laughs> Look at my video to try to get the baby to come out. But essentially, it's three different positions. 
that you do you keep them for half hour each at maximum i think there's a 10 minimum at 30 a minute maximum and you keep them and it's supposed to again help with um, the different position me and my husband we would remove the safe we do all sorts of different other labor inducing exercise but the mild circuit i would say was one of the major ones that i did to help to induce my labor naturally because i read and heard that it worked i had to do that for probably about three days before i you know eventually went into labor oh and this one i'm going to show you do move this this here is my pregnancy slash exercise ball. So I did different things with it, different exercises that I found on YouTube. Instead of sitting in my chair, I would sit on this when I was eating my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. I was sitting on this ball. I was just doing all the rotation, the figure eight movements, all sorts of different things with this pregnancy ball. I ordered this online, they're not very expensive and they have them out here but I'm always trying to get a good bargain right so I ordered this one online it's very heavy duty and good thing after you've had the baby um you can use this for other things you can use it to continue exercising um of course after you've recovered and healed and of course um children love it my daughter loves it and my baby you know also likes you know bouncing um on it because of course it's like you know, you can use it for other things so yes do your figure eights do your different exercise youtube exercises to induce labor and get your exercise on okay and oh i use this through all my labor as well i was 10 centimeters dilated by the time i got to the hospital this is what i used the whole time i labored at home it was and I'm gonna stop right here before I go any further and ask you to click your like button, check if you're subscribed to this channel. If you're not, I'm gonna ask you to do that just now to kind of give me a little motivation to keep going. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. It was a friend till the end. If you're gonna be laboring outside of the hospital, then this is a good tool to have. I'm gonna rest her down right here. What gets baby in also gets baby out. Now I've been doing all sorts of different stuff, including all that I've listed, to try to induce labor naturally, to try to get labor going. And two to three people told me, hey, have you tried this? I'm like, well, I'm super big, I'm just not, you know, that's just what got baby in got baby out. Because that same evening, I went into labor, right? For those of you who don't understand what's any of my baby in, that baby out. This is a family channel, right? I don't know if it was a coincidence, because I had been doing other things before, but it would be a major coincidence that the very day, very day I did what got baby in, it ended up getting baby out. Trust me, I, I, I would say that is the top of my list to recommend in trying to get labor going and induce labor naturally. Those are the five things I did to try to induce labor naturally. Of course, I prayed. And yeah, eventually she came at 40 plus two, so I was two days past my due date when she finally made her arrival and all was well. So again, if you know anybody who is pregnant, planning to become pregnant, nearing their due date, um, past their due date remember we're on the road to 100 subscribers so i need your help subscribe to the channel share 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 the video and i will see you in the next one bye